All right guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. It came to my attention recently. One of you was like, hey, you've never done a video on like what kind of NP school you went to, what the program was like, how long it took, did you work, what was going on with it? So I thought today would be a good idea to just kind of go over that really quick since I talk about all things NP and I never even touched on that. So today we'll talk about what type of program I went to, whether it was an online, all of that, how long it was, how I worked, and any other fun facts I think of while I'm filming it. I'm also gonna to try to point out things that I've sort of learned, like what I liked, what I didn't like, what I would maybe aim for, if I was gonna do it all over again, how I would do it, and try to give you some pointers along the way. So when you're navigating this, it can be a little bit simpler. If you're new here, welcome, I'm Liz. I'm a family nurse practitioner now. I graduated about nine months ago, which is crazy, from my FNP program. And somehow I never really made a formal video talking about that, so here we are, that's what it is today. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so first, what type of NP program did I go to? Because there's three big types, I guess. There's normal, what they call brick and mortar, where you go to the classroom and you, you know, go to class several times a week. Maybe there's usually some kind of like an online component with that just because that's taking over so much, but you're on campus a couple times, at least once a week, usually more than that. The second is a hybrid program. And in the hybrid program, you have online courses as well as some courses that are more like, hey, you have to come to campus. And the third type is online. And I will say most online programs make you come at least once or twice to campus, which I think is really good. There are some that never make you come. And I will be totally honest, I would be we're very wary of those programs, but just because someone really needs to, especially with like health assessment, lay their eyeballs on you at some point, I feel like, and help you. But those are the big three types. I went to a hybrid program and I absolutely loved it. And before we talk too much about it, I'll kind of give you a background of kind of what my whole program looked like so you can get a better idea. So I did a three year MSN program. So I have my master's and it was part-time. They had the option at my school to do a two year full-time, but I needed to work and I didn't want to cram it that much and I wanted a little bit more nursing experience. So I did the three year part-time because I wanted some like balance in my life. And that made it out to be about two to three classes per semester. Plus when we got into clinical, then the clinical hours were added on top of that. So even though it was part-time, it was like a lot. It wasn't like, I don't know, sometimes you said part-time and you're like, but it feels like full-time. Just to give you an idea, that's where that's coming from. The way my hybrid program worked was the entire first year were the like theory, classes that everyone just loves. In case you can't tell, I was just such a fan of them. <laughs> They're necessary, I get it, whatever. So that whole lovely first year was like, the theory of being a nurse practitioner, like foundations of being an NP, research, policies and politics, all of that. And that year for me was completely online. I went to orientation at the beginning of the semester and then I didn't go back for an entire year. So I had all of those classes, they were totally online. After that first year, then we started to get into assessment and other classes that would require us to be on campus. So during those second, those last two years, I was on campus at least once a month, sometimes twice a month. And that was to do things like simulation labs where we would have patients who were actors come in and we would interact with them. They were real people, they would have complaints, you would do a physical assessment on them and it was like you were going to an office and it was set up like a primary care office and you worked with them. And we did simulation labs throughout those entire two years. And then we would have days where you would come on campus and we would get some lectures, we would have guest lecturers, we would work in groups a lot and share case studies and just talk and see how each other were like doing with different things. Um, what we were seeing in our practices, what we were learning. And then we had a lot of like skills. When we were in assessment, we did all of our assessments obviously on each other and our, uh, and our teachers could kind of, you know, guide us and be like, hey, don't put your hands there, put them here, feel it this, do you see? And we would have like demonstrations. We had labs with, um, you know, for like pelvic exams, prostate exams, all of that was there. And then we had labs for um, you know, like suturing, EKG interpretation, all of the other skills-based things you do as an NP, we had that on campus as well during those times. But obviously since it was only once a month, the rest of our courses were online and we still had discussion boards and we had Zoom chats where we would, you know, all log on via video with our core group and have discussions that way. So we met like in person over the internet more often too than just when we were in, on class 
interacting with each other. And I really, really liked my hybrid program. If I could do it all over again, that is the exact one I would pick. I am not the type of person with like life going on that I can be in a classroom all the time because I was working and had a baby and was married. I had the things. And so for me, having a hybrid was perfect. I loved having that on campus time, even though some of the time it was like annoying to have to go and drive up there. That was so helpful to have one, the interaction with your peers. I made the best friends that became my huge support system throughout school. I got to learn all those skills, obviously hands-on, and I wasn't relying solely on my preceptors in clinical to teach me a lot of those things, which was really great because I mean, if you don't have like the greatest preceptor, you're not gonna get those skills. And then I just felt like people were like hands-on with me. <laughs> like the professors somewhat touched in and were like, okay, like you are doing okay, or could kind of get you up to speed in areas where you were struggling more. And I just feel like I really benefited from having people being able to lay eyeballs on me and like point me in the direction that I needed to go. Also those sim labs, while absolutely terrifying because they were huge chunks of your grade, were really helpful to get you used to how this situation was gonna play out. And it was a great learning opportunity for them to then be like, hey, no, like you should have probably asked this. You should have probably done this assessment instead of this. And even though watching yourself was super awkward, it pointed out a lot of things to you because you would watch the videotape that they did. You would point out a lot of things to you, you know, that where you were like, oh yeah, I should probably not, you know, sit there and like <laughs> fidget with my hands the whole time while I'm doing that. That looks really awkward. So things like that were really helpful. That's why I really liked my hybrid program. And if I could do it again, that's the way I would do it. A little bit of flexibility with some structure that I very much need in my life. Okay, second, we already kind of touched on it. How long was the program? So my program, like I said, it was three years part-time. The first summer in between the year one and two, you did have off and then between two and three, you went all the way through. So you didn't have a ton of breaks during it, but I feel like three years for your MSN part-time is usually pretty typical, two years full-time or now a lot of the DNP programs are like four years part-time, three years full-time. So that's kind of the timeline you're looking at. I wouldn't change it again. I really liked the part-time aspect of it. I couldn't have balanced my life quite as well if I did full-time and I wasn't in like a rush, you know what I mean, to get to the end of this thing. I mean, I wanted it, school's never like fun. You're not like, I wanna be in school forever, but I wasn't, you know, like I have to get to this so fast. I wanted to kind of take my time and really absorb stuff. So I liked it at that pace. Third thing I get asked about a lot is, did I work during the program? If so, how much? So I did work during the program. During the first two years I worked full time. And then in my third year, I went down to part time. That was partly because I had a baby in that summer before my last year in the middle of a semester of school. So fun. And then the other aspect of it was I was in clinical three to four days a week and I worked night shift and that just would have been like too many days. I couldn't do three night shifts mixed with four day shifts. There's just not enough sleep there if you know how night shift works. So, and that's just a lot because you have classwork on top of it. So I ended up going down to part-time my last year and that was super helpful. There were people in my program who I think all of them who did this did not have children who worked full time throughout the whole thing. They were on days. So they worked, you know, their three 12 hour shifts and then they did their three or four clinical days and just didn't have days off, which is brutal. But I mean, if you got bills to pay, then you got bills to pay and you just have to do what you have to do. So there's that. If in a perfect world, I honestly probably would have worked part-time the whole time. There were plenty of people in my program who did go down to part-time for the whole thing. They had a lot more work-life balance than I had, but I had things like a mortgage and life that I had to pay for. So, I mean, whatever, it was what it was. I didn't have like the greatest time of my life in those two years where I was working full-time and going to school part-time, but I mean, you survived. So you do what you gotta do. It's only a limited amount of time. That's the best way to look at it during that, I think, is to know this isn't forever. Like, this might not be the most fun for a little while, but it's gonna get you to something that you're going to do for the rest of your life. So I think the payoff of a couple of rough years is totally worth it. But again, all of this is also just like what I did, not what you should necessarily do. But I just get asked this all the time, and I was like, I'll just make a video explaining it. So. Your situation might be totally different. This is just what worked out really well for me. Let's see, what else do people ask a lot? How I paid for it. I paid for grad school out of pocket, actually, because I was working full time. And where I was working, they gave you, if you were a full time employee, they would pay, they paid about half of my tuition. So that was another incentive to keep working. And there was no contract associated with that. There was no like, hey, you have to work for us eventually. It was just 
If you're a full-time employee here, we will pay for half of your tuition. And also my undergrad loans, cause all of my loans are from undergrad and there's a lot of them. Those went into deferment when I was in school. So rather than how it ended up working was actually just rather than paying my student loans, I just paid for grad school because the amount I paid in grad school was actually less than my normal payments for student loans. So it actually was cheaper for me to go back to grad school than to continue paying my student loans, even though the interest was accumulating and it's not actually cheaper, I know, I know. But I paid less money out of pocket to do that than to pay for my student loans. Now I'm kind of sad because all that interest accrued and I was like meh, but that's how I paid for it. My employer paid for a lot of it, which was really nice. And then we just kind of diverted the money from student loans to grad school. And obviously a lot of people in my program took out student loans, especially the ones that weren't working full-time or didn't have, weren't working somewhere that was offering tuition reimbursement or they did, theirs did, but they didn't want to be contracted to work like for that institution. A couple, one of my friends applied for like all the scholarships and got a couple thousand a semester. She worked really, really, really hard at that and probably poured, she said like dozens and dozens of hours into filling out these scholarships. I didn't qualify for any of the ones that looked like easy that I wouldn't have to work terribly hard for. I didn't have a mate. I mean, I'm not like a straight A student, so I didn't apply for any of those. Um, and then I don't know, I just didn't apply for like a lot of them and I didn't look too hard to be honest. And I was just like lazy. The hours of work I could put into that. I was like, I'll just work my actual job and it'll be fine. So that's absolutely an option for you if you're looking to pay for it. Um, if your employer, I think, didn't reimburse you, I think I would have been a lot more motivated if my employer wasn't just like, yeah, I'll just pay half. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll just keep working. Other common questions, how long was I a nurse? Three years before I went into the program. I think that was a great amount of time. Even longer, obviously, probably would have been even better. But for me, that was a good amount of time and I continued to work through it. So by the end, I had a decent chunk of experience. I am a huge believer in getting some experience before you apply to NP school. And we won't go down that rabbit hole right now, but I would absolutely do it that way, or if not, give myself even a little bit more time before going back, because I just think that sets up such a good foundation for your future practice and how you approach things and just gives you a really good background. All right, I think that wraps up all the common questions I get like about my specific NP program. If you have any other ones that I didn't address, leave them down in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Again, if you're new here, I'm Liz. I'm a family nurse practitioner and I do weekly videos like this on Tuesdays where I talk about like nursing and NP things. And then I have a vlog on Saturdays that just documents my life as a brand new nurse practitioner. So if you're into those things, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. And over on Instagram, I also show tidbits of my day and like what I'm learning at my practice and like just life things. I'm also on a bread baking binge, so that's always a good time. Head over there and we can chat as well. Question of the day is just, would you rather have an online or like a brick and mortar type setup or both? Like I said, I really liked the hybrid because the brick and mortar was just a little bit too, it didn't, I need a little bit more flexibility, but not, I need a little bit more structure than just online. So I'd love to hear about what would be great for you guys down below and I will see you again next time. Bye.